and welcome to the Gospel Minute Live and uh, today's Sunday night we have a Sunday night edition but a change it is uh, the after feast of the Annunciation yesterday was the feast of the Annunciation and uh, so I thought well let's do the Akathis for the Annunciation tonight so that's what we're going to do the, it's called the Akathis hymn to Our Lady the Theotokos and uh, our panel will be here in just a minute. Eric and uh, Jonathan will be here in just a second. But right now, let's read our um, troparian for this evening. And uh, actually, uh, today is the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, and it is the feast of St. John Climacus of the latter. His troparian, dweller of the desert and angel in the body, you are shown to be a wonder worker, our God-bearing Father John, you received heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to you by faith. Glory to him who gave you strength. Glory to him who granted you a crown. Glory to him, through you, grants healing to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let's say hello to Eric and Jonathan. Good evening to you both. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Steve. Good evening, everyone. And uh, Jonathan, would you start us out with prayer and Psalm 19? Yep. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings, implanting us also the fear of thy blessed commandments, and trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter up upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thine unoriginate Father, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Our first psalm is uh, Psalm 19. And it's found on page 693 of your Orthodox Study Bible. The note says, Psalm 19 is a royal psalm, for it is a prophecy made on behalf of Jesus Christ the King, who is the end. Also, verse 7 identifies Jesus as God's Christ, his anointed, and his right hand. For the name of Christ shows the Father anointed the human nature of Jesus with the Holy Spirit. And the name's right hand and king show Jesus is one in essence with the Father and co-equal with him. This prophecy is the first prayer to the Father, who is called the Lord and the God of Jacob. Numerous petitions are made on Christ's behalf, one of which regards his death and resurrection. Secondly, the prophecy reveals the response of the church to his salvation one element of which is great joy. Let us attend. For the end, a psalm by David. May the Lord hear you in the day of affliction. May the name of God, may the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from his holy place and may he support you from Zion. May he remember every sacrifice of yours, and may your whole burnt offering be honored. May he give you according to your heart. May he fulfill all your counsel. We will greatly rejoice in your salvation, and in the name of our God we will be magnified. Now I know the now I know the Lord has saved his anointed. He will hear from him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is mighty. Some glory in chariots, some in horses, but in the name of, of the Lord our God we shall be magnified. Their feet were tied together, so they fell. But we rose up and were restored. O Lord, save your king, and hear us in the day we call upon you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Thank you, Jonathan. And Eric, would you read our epistle and our gospel? Absolutely. Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're going to be reading um, Hebrews chapter 6, um, verses 13 to 20, and it starts here on page um, 1659 of your Orthodox Study Bible. For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is for them an end of all dispute. Thus God determining to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have set this hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, which enters the presence behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, even Jesus, having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. And then for the gospel reading, we're going to be reading over here in Mark chapter 9. And we're going to go from, what? let's see here, Mark chapter 9, 17 to 31. And uh, this is going to be on page 1343 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. He answered him and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. But they, and then they brought him to him. And when he saw him, he immediately, when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood, and often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. And the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. And he became as one dead, so that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Amen. I'm not quite so, done yet. I got two oh, more okay. verses. Yep. Then they departed from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want anyone to know it. For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And after he is killed, he will rise the third day. And, and amen to that also. And the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you. Throw sure. that amen in there. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. That's right. Amen. All righty. So let's continue to pray. Tonight we're going to pray the Akathist hymn to Our Lady, the Theotokos, in honor of the Annunciation and the Incarnation of our Lord. Glory be to you, our God. Glory be to you. Heavenly King, Advocate, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings, bestower of life, come and dwell within us. Cleanse us of all that defiles us, and, O good one, save our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. 
O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Cleanse of our sins. O Lord, pardon our iniquities. O Master, look upon our weaknesses and heal them, O Holy One, for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And Eric, would you start us off by reading Kentakion 1 and Ecos 1? Absolutely. To you, O Mother of God, unconquerable leader in battle, we, your servants delivered from all calamity, offer hymns of victory and thanksgiving. Since you are invincible in power, set us free from every peril, so that we may sing to you, Rejoice, O Bride, and Maiden ever appear. The Prince of the Angels was sent from heaven to greet the Mother of God, saying, Rejoice. And as he saw you, O Lord, assuming human form, he stood wrapped in amazement and cried out to her in these words, Rejoice, for through you joy will shine forth. Rejoice, for through you the curse will disappear. Rejoice, restoration of fallen Adam. Rejoice, redemption of the tears of Eve. Oops. Scroll back, back down. There we go. Rejoice, height beyond human understanding. Rejoice, depth not fathomed by the angels. Rejoice, for you are the throne of the king. Rejoice, for you carry him who carries all. Rejoice, morning star who brings forth the sun. Rejoice, womb of the divine incarnation. Rejoice, for through your, for through, through, for through your, you creation is renewed. Rejoice, for through you the creator becomes a newborn child. Rejoice, O bride and maiden ever pure. Thank you. And uh, Jonathan, would you read Kentakion 2 and Ecos 2? Knowing that she was pure, the Holy Virgin quickly answered Gabriel, saying, Mysterious are your words, and my soul is unable to understand. How is it that you speak of a childbirth from a conception without seed, and sing Alleluia, 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 Alleluia? Trying to grasp the meaning of this mystery, the Virgin asked the Holy Messenger of God, Tell me how it is possible that a son be born of a virginal womb. Then he spoke to her in fear, crying out in these words, Rejoice, hidden secret of God's ineffable plan. Rejoice, for you believed in what calls for silence. Rejoice, beginning of the miracles of Christ. Rejoice, fulfillment of the truths concerning him. Rejoice, heavenly ladder by which God came down. Rejoice, bridge leading those on earth to heaven. Rejoice, miracle most wondrous to the angels. Rejoice, wo wounding much bewailing by the demons. Rejoice, for you have borne the glorious light. Rejoice, for you have revealed the mystery to none. Rejoice, for you surpass the wisdom of the wise. Rejoice, for you enlighten the minds of the faithful. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. When the power of the Most High overshadowed the one who was blessed among women, she conceived. Her fruitful womb became as a fertile field for all who longed to reap the harvest of salvation, singing Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bearing God with her womb, the Virgin hastened to Elizabeth, whose unborn child, knowing at once the greeting of the Mother of God, rejoiced, and leaping up as if in song, cried out to her, Rejoice, vine bearing the unfading bloom. Rejoice, orchard that bears immortal fruit. Rejoice, for you care for the lover of mankind. Rejoice, for you have borne the gardener of our life. Rejoice, field bearing a rich harvest of compassion. Rejoice, table laden with the abundance of mercy. Rejoice, for you make paradise blossom again. Rejoice, for you prepare a haven for our souls. Rejoice, most pleasing incense of intercession. Rejoice, offering the whole world. 
Rejoice loving kindness of God to all mankind. Rejoice confidence of all before God. Rejoice, O bride and maiden ever pure. Amen. Uh, Eric? Tossed inwardly by a storm of doubts, righteous Joseph was troubled. Knowing you to be unwed, O blameless virgin, he feared a stolen union. But when he learned that your conceiving was by the power of the Holy Spirit, he cried out, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The shepherds heard the angels glorify Christ's coming in the flesh. Quickly they ran to the shepherd and beheld him as a spotless lamb, nurtured from the womb of Mary, and singing to her they cried, Rejoice, mother of the lamb and the shepherd. Rejoice, fold of spiritual sheep. Rejoice, protection against invisible foes. Rejoice, key to the door of paradise. Rejoice, for the heavens exult with the earth. Rejoice, for the earth sings praise with the heavens. Rejoice, never silent voice of the apostles. Rejoice, unconquerable courage of martyrs. Rejoice, firm foundation of faith. Rejoice, shining revelation of grace. Rejoice, for through you Hades was stripped bare. Rejoice, for through you were, were our, through, for through you we are clothed in glory. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. Seeing the star point to God, the Magi followed its radiance, keeping it before them as a beacon. With its help, they sought the mighty King, and attaining the unattainable, they rejoiced and cried to Him, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The son of Chaldea saw the Virgin holding in her hands Him who with His hands fashioned mankind. Though he had taken the form of a servant, yet they knew him as their master. In haste they knelt before him with their gifts and cried out to the Blessed Virgin, Rejoice, Mother of the Star that never sets. Rejoice, bright dawn of the mystic day. Rejoice, for you quenched the furnace of deception. Rejoice, for you illumined the disciples of the Trinity. Rejoice, for you have cast down the merciless tyrant from power. Rejoice, for you have shown us Christ, the Lord, who loves mankind. Rejoice, for you deliver us from pagan worship. Rejoice, for you free us from unclean deeds. Rejoice, for you suppress the worship of fire. Reje rejoice, for you quench the flames of the passions. Rejoice, guide of the faithful to chastity. Rejoice, joy of all generations. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. Becoming God's messengers, the Magi returned to Babylon, having fulfilled the prophecy concerning you and preaching to all that you are the Christ. They left Herod to his raving, for he knew not how to sing. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shining upon Egypt with the light of truth, you dispelled the darkness of falsehood. The idols of that land fell down, unable to endure your power, O Savior. And all who were delivered from them cried to the Mother of God, Rejoice, restoration of mankind. Rejoice, downfall of demons. Rejoice, for you crushed the power of deceit. Rejoice, for you exposed the fraud of idols. Rejoice, sea that drowns the invisible Pharaoh. Rejoice, rock, that gives drink to all who thirst for life. Rejoice, pillar of fire, guiding those in the darkness. Rejoice, protection of the world, broader than the cloud. Rejoice, successor to manna. Rejoice, servant of the banquet divine. Rejoice, promised land. Rejoice, land of milk and honey. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. As Simeon drew near to the time of his departure from this deceitful world, he received you as an infant in his arms, knowing that you are the perfect God. And struck with wonder at your ineffable wisdom, he cried, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Creator revealed a new creation when he came down to us. His creation came down to us, his creation. He came forth from a womb that had received no seed, preserving it intact as it was before, so that seeing this miracle we might sing to the Mother of God. Rejoice, flower of incorruption. Rejoice, crown of chastity. Rejoice, for you shine with the likeness of the resurrection. Rejoice, for you reveal the life of the angels. 
Rejoice, tree of good fruit, from which the from which the faithful feed. Rejoice, shady glen, where many find shelter. Rejoice, for you carried in the womb in your womb the guide of those the guide of the of, of those astray. Rejoice, for you gave birth to the savior of the captives. Rejoice, intercessor, with the righteous judge. Rejoice forgiveness of many sins. Rejoice robe of confidence for those without hope. Rejoice loving kindness. Rejoice loving kindness surpassing all desire. Rejoice, O bride and maiden ever pure. Seeing the, this mir miraculous birth, let us become strangers to the world and fix our minds on heaven. Indeed, it is for this reason that the God Most High appeared on earth. He became a humble man, desiring to draw up to heaven all those who would cry out to him, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The word unfathomed was wholly present here below, yet in no way absent from the realm on high, for this was the descent of God and not a change of place, a birth from a virgin who had received God as she heard these words of praise. Rejoice, enclosure of the uncontainable God. Rejoice, gate of solemn mystery. Rejoice, strange wonder to the unbelievers. Rejoice, undoubtable glory for the faithful. Rejoice, most holy chariot of one who is upon the cherubim. Rejoice, most glorious dwelling of the one who lives above the seraphim. Rejoice, for you bring opposites to harmony. Rejoice, you who you join virginity and motherhood. Rejoice, for through you sin is absolved. Rejoice, through you paradise is open. Rejoice, key to the kingdom of Christ. Rejoice, hope of eternal blessings. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. All the ranks of angels marveled at the great work of your incarnation, for they saw God, whom none can approach, as a man approachable by all, dwelling among us and hearing from all. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Eloquent order orators became mute as fish before you, O Mother of God, for they are at a loss to say how you remained a virgin and yet were able to bear a child. As for us, while marveling at this mystery, we cry out to you with faith. Rejoice, ves vessel of the wisdom of God. Rejoice, treasury of his providence. Rejoice, reproof of foolish philosophers. Rejoice, for the eloquent become speechless before you. Rejoice, for the cunning are shown to be fools. Rejoice, for the mermakers are silenced. Rejoice, for you dispelled the Athenian snares. Rejoice, for you are filled for you filled the fishermen's nets. Rejoice, for you draw us from the depths of ignorance. Rejoice, for you enlighten many with the knowledge. Rejoice, ship for all who seek salvation. Rejoice, harbor in the voyage of life. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. Wishing to save the world, the Creator of all came to us as he had promised, being our God and our shepherd, out of love for us he took flesh and appeared to all. As man he called out to all mankind, and as God he heard from us, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O Virgin Mother of God, you are the strength of virgins, and of all those who take refuge in you. For the Creator of heaven and earth gave you to be our protectress, our pure one. O, o pure one, he dwelt in, in your womb and taught us all to cry to you. Rejoice, pillar of virginity. Rejoice, gate of salvation. Rejoice, leader of the spiritual restoration. Rejoice, bestower of, the, of divine grace. Rejoice, for you renew those who can. For, for you, for, rejoice, for you re, renew those conceived in sin. Rejoice, for you counsel those lost in their understanding. Rejoice, for you bring to naught the corrupter of hearts. Rejoice, for you are, for you give birth to the, to the sower of purity. Rejoice, bridal chamber of a marriage without seed. Rejoice, for you have united the faithful to their Lord. 
Rejoice, nursing mother of virgins. Rejoice, bridal escort of holy souls. Rejoice, O bride, maiden ever pure. Greatest song of praise cannot compare with the multitude of your mercies, O holy king. We could sing to you as many songs as there are grain, grains of sand, and yet do nothing worthy of what you have given us, who cry out to you, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We see the Holy Virgin as a lamp of living light, shining upon those who live in darkness. For she is the one who kindled the immaterial light, and now she guides all mankind to the knowledge of God. She fills our minds with radiance and is worthy of being praised in these words. Rejoice, ray of spiritual sun. Rejoice, radiance, unfading in splendor. Rejoice, lightning that enlightens our souls. Rejoice, thunder that strikes down all foes. Rejoice, for you caused the many starred light to dawn. Rejoice, for you caused the ever-flowing river to spring. Rejoice, image of the life-giving bath. Rejoice, for you wash away the stain of sin. Rejoice, font, font that cleanses the conscience. Rejoice, chalice overflowing with joy. Rejoice, scent of the fragrance of Christ. Rejoice, life full of mystical feasting. Rejoice, O bride and maiden, ever pure. Wishing to release us from all ancient debts, the Redeemer of all came of his own will to those who were exiled from his grace. He has torn up the records of our sins, and from all he hears the cry, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. As we sing in honor of your Son, we praise you as the living temple, O Mother of God. For the Lord, who holds all things in his hand, made his dwelling in your womb. He hallowed and he glorified you, teaching all to sing to you. Rejoice, tabernacle of God, the Word. Rejoice, greater holy of holies. Rejoice, ark made golden by the Spirit. Rejoice, inexhaustible treasury of life. Rejoice, precious crown of godly kings. Rejoice, sacred glory of faithful priests. Rejoice, unshaken, unshaken fortress of the church. Rejoice, indestructible wall of the kingdom. Rejoice, for through your virginity, your victory, excuse me, rejoice, for through your victory is assured. Rejoice, for through you our enemies are cast down. Rejoice, healing of my body. Rejoice, salvation of my soul. Rejoice, O bride and maiden ever pure. O mother worthy of all praise, who have borne the word, the holiest of all holies. Accept this present offering, deliver, deliver us from all affliction. Save and save from future punishment those who cry out to you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Bowing our heads in all humility, let us pray. Lord have mercy. O most holy sovereign lady, and the mother of our God, powerful and all good, receive from your unworthy servants servants this praiseworthy hymn which is due to you alone for you have been chosen from among the human race and are higher than all celestial and earthly creatures for through you our almighty god has dwelt among us through you we have come to know the son of god and are honored to have his most holy body and most precious blood thus you are blessed among all generations you are more honorable than the cherubim and far more glorious than the seraphim a most honorable and more ho most holy mother of God, do not cease to pray for us today, your unworthy servants, so that we may be protected against the guile and greediness of the evil one, so that we may be delivered unharmed from his deadly temptations. Protect each of us with your prayer until the end of our life, and at the time of eternal judgment that we, being saved by your help and intercession, might give glory, praise, and thanksgiving and honor for all, for the Holy Trinity, one God, and Creator of all creatures, always, now, and forever. Amen. Wisdom. More honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim, ever a virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. 
Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother of the Holy of the holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, of your venerable and godly fathers, and of all the saints, will have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loveth mankind. Amen. Now I'd like to offer a little prayer, a short one that I, probably the first prayer I ever learned. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, guys. Now let's say hello to a few people before we say good night. And everyone is saying that the sound is a whole lot better on YouTube this evening. Kind of choppy over there on Facebook. But, okay. Katarina Salas, prayers for strength, guidance, and health. We pray for that. We pray for that, Lord, for Katerina and her mother, Anna. Helen Stevens, good evening. Joanne Manaski, good evening to you. Karen Kalanovich, um, good evening, Stephen. Sweet prayer family. Praying our time together is blessed and peaceful as we pray, asking the Theotokos to pray for us, for our many needs. Amen. Mary Saad, good evening. Nellie Cartvelli, Oana, good evening. Say hello to Maria for us. Anastasia, greetings from Melbourne, Australia. She says, greetings from Australia, beloved church family, thanking God for you all. And we thank God for you. We've got to explore that Australian Orthodox Church. It seems to be quite active. Mm -hmm. And let me see here. Anna Gennaro, good evening, Anna. And let um, me see, Anita Dalton, good evening. And everyone saying bad audio over here on Facebook. Magnolia Shores, good evening to you, Magnolia. And. Facebook has been having a real bad problem with skipping and jumping and yeah. volume. I mean, Facebook is falling down on its knees right now. It's yeah. it's, it's because Mark, Mark Zuckerberg keeps letting staff go. Mm -hmm. Which staff? We're just laying off tens of thousands. Oh, yeah. Anita Dalton, good evening. I'm trying, I'm going to try YouTube. Maybe it'll be better over there. I'm here it is. And there's Gary Ballard, good evening to you. Karen, I'll stay here for a while, Karen says. Hello, Nick Gazio, good evening hey, to you, good Nick. Good to you, Nick. And, and, somebody's got their, somebody's got their audio on. Audio on. Okay. okay. Well, Betty Hedeclides, good evening to you. Good evening. And Mary Saad, over here on YouTube. And Elioni Shanera, good evening. Elioni. Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Good evening, Steve and everyone. And uh, let me see. Anita Dalton, sounds better over here on YouTube. You betcha. Joe Barbera, good evening. And a bunch of people jumped over there. Hey, Eric Green's here. And so is Joseph Khalil. And he's, he has a, a verse from John 14. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Amen. And Anna says, praying for Amy. And don't we all pray for Amy and the whole family. And the whole family. Amen. So... Well, friends, uh, thank you so much for joining us and celebrating the Annunciation. That's the word we want to use, celebrate the Anna, and celebrate our faith. Amen. So, uh, Robin and I will be back here tomorrow morning for morning prayers at 8 a.m. And then we'll be back here again tomorrow night for the Akathist of Thanksgiving. I guess this is our week for Akathist, isn't it? So, until tomorrow, there are two things that we need to remember. And Eric, what's number one? God loves you, and he really, 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 really does. Really, really does, as Gary really. would say. And uh, there number, what's number two there, Jonathan? 
that we love you and we really 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 do amen, amen. so well until tomorrow may god bless us all i want to thank eric and uh, jonathan we'll get back to more uh uh to more regular programming next sunday but this is a nice change this evening so until tomorrow may god bless us all let's all have a great evening in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen good night eric stick around sure oh, yeah.